Hey guys, it's Dr. Wiggy. Yeah, can exercise damage your adrenal glands? That's the question that I want to talk, uh, talk about today because I think that it can. Now, I was a little bit hesitant to talk about this subject because I think that exercise is absolutely critical for optimal health and for optimal aging, but I do think that it can be overdone. And this is where that question of overtraining comes in and where I think that overtraining can actually put too much of a stress on our adrenal glands and actually cause it to not function properly. So I was seeing a patient today, she was a 33 year old female and she was a big time runner. She competed in marathons and actually had done well. But recently she had started having problems with some real fatigue. And the interesting thing was that she could have days where she can go out and run 20 miles and do well and feel fine. But the next day she was just wiped out and she could barely make it through the day. And what we found is when we tested her adrenal glands was that her baseline cortisol was actually okay. But when we stimulated with ACTH, it was not able to respond. And what that tells us is that her adrenal glands, they're able to make, make cortisol, but they're not able to respond to stress the way they, sh they should. And the way that we put this together was that these, these long duration you know, events and this, this high intensity exercise that she was doing was actually putting a large strain on her adrenal, adrenal glands and they were not able to respond like they should. And this is what we normally see in kind of the early signs of adrenal fatigue. And this can be seen with overtraining. And, that, and, and what you see is that they do okay on some days, but then they do terribly on other days. And they kind of have this up and down. They do okay and then they're, they're fatigued. And then they do okay and they're fatigued. And that's kind of the early stages. And, and if that continues, that can progress to adrenal exhaustion where they are just wiped out every day, all day. So hopefully we caught this early enough for this patient where you know we can give her adrenals some time to heal and she can uh, kind of get back to her normal routine. But this just shows us that yes, overtraining, it is a serious issue and it does happen and it does affect the adrenal glands. So if you're one of those hardcore exercises, uh, exercisers or if you just are starting to have these kind of ups and downs of energy levels, you should consider having your, your cortisol levels tested and specifically do the cortisol stim test because that tells us about the actual functioning of the adrenal glands. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, learn a little bit about the adrenal glands. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can send me a message or just uh, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, you'll be sure to get any any future uh, videos and we'll kind of go from there but like I said hopefully this was helpful and be well